flag, the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bert, you take roll call. I have already recorded the roll. Mm -hmm. uh, motion to adopt the agenda. So moved. Second. Second. Motion's been made by Barrington, seconded by Pinch. All in favor say aye. All right. Aye. aye. Uh, adjourn the board of review to a later date. Need a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Made by Barrington, seconded by Herder. Either one or your tennis. Did they have a date that we were going to do it on? No, That's we don't have it yet. So it'll be published the way it always is once it's decided upon based on the COVID and when the assessor is able to get in and start doing the inspections. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Um, adoption of Chapter 2 Municipal Code Rules for Conducting Council Meetings. So moved. Your Honor. Oh, I just want to say um, there are a few changes that I would suggest we make. Um, starting with, for example, 2.01, the meetings. Right now it states six council members may petition the mayor to hold a special council meeting. Um, I'd like to see that number reduced. If you guys, for example, feel there's an item you want to bring to the council, you shouldn't have to go out to get five of your fellow aldermen to uh, all the persons to uh, 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 have that. Uh, for Oshkosh, for example, has any two members of the council may call a special meeting. And I, I just start looking at different, what different cities do and so forth. But to me, I'd like to see maybe two or three uh, aldermen be able to call or put an item on us uh, on the agenda for the council rather than six. Under 2.03, audience participation. Uh, in Antigo, for example, the mayor or presiding officer shall determine at what point in the meeting citizens will be called upon to speak and may impose a limit on length of time a citizen may address the meeting. And that's what I'd like to see here. So for example, economic right. development, many of you have seen me run the economic development meeting we may have 10 items on the agenda, may have half a dozen people in the audience that want to talk on one of those items. And what I like, what I try to do is when we're talking about item number two, and somebody in the audience wants to address item number two, they have questions or comments or whatever. At that point, I like to bring them in the discussion rather than at the beginning of the meeting or at the end of the meeting, try to have them uh, bring it uh, up. And what, what Annie Gold does, I think I really like that the presiding officer should determine at what point in the meeting the citizens may speak. And so for, for example, in economic development, I'd have them uh, comment as we're going along. We're talking about item number three and they have a question on item number three while we're discussing item number three. At that point, I'd, I'd bring the audience into participation. Under 2.04 uh, committees, appointment of the standing committees of the council should be appointed by the mayor. A number of cities, Green Bay, for example, Oshkosh, the mayor appoints the committees and count, uh, boards and so forth, but it's confirmed Dave, by the council. We will have to wait for that to change them um, at a later date at Common, or, uh, not Common Council. Did the, uh, uh, are we addressing chapter two? Per personnel committee. It's a chair, it's an ordinance. So it can't be changed so, tonight just by bringing it up. It'll right. have to go through the proper channels. All right. So you yeah, we'll, can redline and, and, and that this be put on next month's agenda. Your next finance agenda. I think tonight. Yeah, Dave, I would, I would agree with you because the county committees, the committee chair usually uh, limits uh, we're, from public participation. We're not discussing. From three to five minutes. Here, if I could. I think you should adopt what's on the agenda, chapter two, and then if there are changes to be best to be brought through the committee, the committee, and up for, like we change all ordinances, but you can't just not adopt chapter two. 
we need something to go by mm -hmm. and we should utilize it for now. Okay. Can we amend it before we adopt it? No, no, it's, it's an, an ordinance. ordinance. Okay. Which then come time. back to the finance there's, agenda. I don't feel there's so. a big rush on it. So we yeah. can set a future meetings. Laurie made the motion, I think. So, so I move to adopt it. So we have a motion to adopt. That's by what, yeah, that's what I moved. Second. Second. Second by Barrington. No, to just adopt. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Please, can I make an announcement? Um, excuse me, everybody. I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, for some reason, I don't know if it's because of the roll call. I mean, because of the Zoom meeting, Chad, um, the roll call pro is not advancing. I believe that's why your buttons wouldn't work. Mine's not working now either. So I think there's a there's a little bit of a conflict going on with the screens here. So we'll have to take um, we'll have to take a majority votes on some things. And when it's a roll call vote necessary, I will I will let you know, Mr. Mayor. Right, okay. Thanks. All right, we'll move on to election of council president. Uh, motion to no nominate candidates. I nominate David Warwick. Second. Motion has been made by Fred Zog, seconded by Lori Dean. Make a motion that the polls be closed and unanimous vote for David Warwick. Can't. Second. Second. I can't. We, yeah, got second motion. we got to take a, a vote on the yeah. first one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. The motion's been made to nominate uh, Dave Morak. Ask for any other motion, any other nominees. And and who I mean, was it seconded by? Lori Dean? Can't make that yet, Bob. Is there any other nominations? They made a motion to close the nominations and, and elect. David at by unanimous ballot. So is everybody in favor of that? Everybody in favor of the unanimous vote. Say aye. Say aye. Mm -hmm. aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay. That's to nominate Dave as council president. Yep. Then the motion to cast the unanimous ballot would come? Yeah. Well, the first would be a casting ballot, I would say. Yeah. Done. And that was made and seconded. Yep. And then the second one. All in favor. Calling for a vote. Uh, all in favor. Calling. On unanimous ballot. Calling for the vote of the unanimous ballot. And that was made. Motion made by B. Saw. Who was it seconded by? Oh, the motion to. Huh. Yeah. By B. Saw and second by Fred Zog. <laughs> all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Motion to. You're on number eight. Yeah. Resolution <clears throat> designating public depositories. I need a motion. So motion by my Morak, seconded by Herder. Any further discussion? Yes or no when your name is called. Mr. Bisson. Yes. Mr. Fouché. Yes. Mr. Zog. Yes. Mr. O'Connell. Yes. Ms. Dean. Yes. Mr. Barrington. Yes. Mr. Dorsey. Yes. Mr. Pinch. Mr. Herder. Yes. And Mr. Morak. 10 to 0. 10 to 0. Motion passed. Move on. Designate New London Press Star as official newspaper. We'll call for a motion. Motion's been made by Barrington. Second. Second by Fred Zog. And we also need roll call vote, please. All right. Roll call vote, Mr. Bisa. Yes. Mr. Fisher. Abstain. Yes. Mr. Zog. Yes. Mr. O'Connell. Yes. Ms. Dean. Yes. Mr. Barrington. Yes. Mr. Dorsey. Yes. Mr. Pinch. Mr. Herter. Yes. Mr. Morak. Okay. 10 to 0. 
10 to 0 passing. Oh, 10, uh, eight, nine, nine, zero. With one abstention. I'm sorry. 9 to 0 with one abstention. 9 to 0 with one abstention. Yep. So Appointment of committees, commission, and boards. Need a motion to pass or to accept. So oh, moved. Moved by Barrington, seconded by who, who got the second? Herder. Any further discussion? One of those we have to approve, right? Public works. So that's a separate motion. Can we finish this one first? Or do we do yeah. both together? Yeah. Okay. Paper, you can just ask. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Um, motion to accept Board of Public Works committees. Moved by Morak, second by Herder. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Approval of April 14th, 2020 Council. April 16th, 2020 Council. And May 5th, 2020 Special Council Meeting Minutes. Move. Second. Moved by Zog, second by Besaw. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Authorization to pay bills in the amount of $837,355.91. cents. Okay. Motion's been made by Morak, seconded by Besaw. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Besaw. Yes. Mr. Fishay. Yes. Mr. Zog. No. Mr. O'Connell. Aye. Ms. Dean. Yes. Barrington. Yes. Dorsey. Yes. Kinch. Yes. <coughs> yes. And Mr. Morak. Aye. Motion carried unanimously. Uh, next on the agenda is public comment. We do not have public comment during the closed session or the uh, Zoom meetings. I did not receive any by email or mail. Okay, thank you. Standing in special committees, <clears throat> Board of Public Works, Mr. Barrington. We did not have a meeting this month, Your Honor. Okay, so moved. So we'll move to finance and personnel, Mr. Morak. Thank you, Your Honor. The finance and personnel committee met on Wednesday, May 6 at 4.30 p.m. in the council chambers and via Zoom. Motion was made by Dorsey and seconded by Barrington to approve the amended agenda, removing item 789, carried 7-0. Jill Moss was requested by the committee to take the revised job descriptions and compare them to the current job descriptions and redline the changes so that it would be clear to the committee what changes were made for the next committee meeting in June. City Clerk Jackie Beyer shared a meeting from Michael Rice, a local business owner. The letter was requesting a waiver of current license fees. Mrs. Beyer also shared information from the Tavern League of Wisconsin and the League of Wisconsin Municipalities. Some discussion. Discussion of the Allegheny County sales and use tax revenue sharing. Mrs. Radke explained how the Brown County Circuit Court had clarified the language to include new capital 
construction projects. So with that clarification language, it now made sense for the city to accept the revenue source. Motion was made by Barry Kennedy, and second by Obama, recommend to council approval sales tax shared revenue resolution and signing the agreement to accept Audini County sales tax allocation. Motion carried 7-0. Finance Director Ratke reviewed the monthly financial reports. The fin uh, financial, director, financial Director report was discussed. Again, seven, item 789 were removed. There being no public comment or further business, the meeting adjourned at 5.28 p.m. The next regularly scheduled finance committee meeting will be held in the council chambers on June 3rd at 4.30 p.m. Then a special meeting of the finance personnel committee is called to order at 4.45 p.m. Motion was made by Barrington, second by Zog to go into closed session for state statute 19.85 subsection one, subsection G, conferring with legal counsel for the governmental body was rendering oral written advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the body with respect to litigation which is or likely to become involved. Motion carried by unanimous roll call vote. After discussion, the committee reconvened in open session. Motion was made by Zog, second by Fouché. We recommend the council the authorization to investigate into the accusation of harassment by one staff member against another staff member. Carried by unanimous adjourned at 5.17 p.m. Then I move that we approve the 60-day extension of liquor license renewal fees for Class B license holders. Second. Motion's been made by Mr. Morak, seconded by Dennis Herdy, to approve a 60-day extension of liquor license renewal fees for Class B license holders. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Bisa. Yes. Mr. Fisher. Yes. Mr. Zog. Yes. Mr. O'Connell. Aye. Ms. Dean. Yes. Mr. Barrington. Yes. Mr. Dorsey. Yes. Mr. Pinch. Yes. Mr. Herder. Yes. Mr. Morat. Yes. Approved unanimously. Okay, then I move we approve a cell phone for the mayor. Second. Motion been made by Morak, seconded by Barrington. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Visa? Yes. Fiche? Yes. Zog? No. O'Connell? Aye. Ms. Dean? Yes. Barrington? Yes. Dorsey? Yes. Pinch? Yes. Herder? Yes. And Mr. Morak? Yes. Motion passes unanimously. <clears throat> and I move we approve this sales tax shared revenue resolution and to sign the agreement to accept the Outagamie County sales tax allocation. Second. Motion been made by Mr. Morak, seconded by Zog, to approve the sales tax shared revenue resolution and sign the agreement to accept the Outagamie County sales tax allocation. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Bisa? Yes. Fiche? Yes. Zog? Aye. O'Connell? Aye. Ms. Dean? No. Mr. Barrington? Yes. Dorsey? Yes. Pinch? Yes. Herder? Yes. And Morak? Yes. Motion passes unanimously. Move on to Park and Recreation. Mr. Bisa? Uh, thank you, Your Honor. May, May 5th, Park and Rec meeting was called to order at 445 moved to approve the agenda all motion was carried by all public comment relevant items on the agenda there was none present review and recommend a resolution to apply for stewardship the city has been working towards acquiring grant funding to develop the newton blackboard trail extension into the city one available source of funding is the wisconsin dnr stewardship grant program a resolution was presented authorizing staff to apply for this funding moved and seconded to recommend the council to approve the approved resolution authorizing the director of public services to apply for the DNR outdoor recre recreational aids for the Newton Blackboard Trail extension. That'll be brought to council. Motion is carried by all. 
update on comprehensive outdoor recreational plan for the ECWP RC, Ishnaw, the East Central Wisconsin Recreational Planning Commission, presented an update on the progress of the city's comprehensive outdoor recreational plan, CORP. The CORP plan provides visual direction and is required to apply for certain grants in the 2021 through 2025 plan cycle. NAW presented a four phase approach beginning in May and plans to be completed by December. The next step is to gain public feedback with an online survey and for NAW to complete a delayed detailed inventory of the city's park system. No motion was made on this item at this time. Approve an agreement with Wolf River Art League on murals located on city owned buildings. At a previous meeting, the city granted permission to the Wolf River Art League to paint murals on city owned buildings. The Art League is requesting an agreement to be put in place to define that these murals will be kept in place for five years. Language was added to exclude this five year term if the building is damaged by fire, natural disaster, or if the building is sold. Motion removed and second, the council accept the proposed agreement with the Wolf River Art League regarding art murals and city owned buildings. The motion was carried by all. This will be brought to council. Consider the purchase of electronic pay stations for the, Wolf, the Riverside Park boat launch. Chad Hearth and Vesaw have been researching costs on electronic space stations for the boat launch and found that the DNR recently advertised a bid for similar pay stations that Wisconsin municipalities can piggyback on. The base cost of these machines were presented along with some additional excess for the project. The base unit accepts credit cards had recommended upgrading the machines to accept dollar bills. The additional option was presented for providing change at the machine. Pros and cons were discussed, and at this time, the general consensus was not to include the change giving option as people can get change at the nearby bait shop, but to see if the options would be added to the unit in the future. Motion was made and seconded that council authorize the purchase of two electronic boat launch pay stations without the change giving option for a projected amount of $22,730 to be financed by the boat launch fund. The motion was carried by all. This will be brought to council for consideration. Consider the purchase of cameras for the Riverside boat launch. The committee briefly discussed adding security cameras to the boat launch to document violators as well as to keep video records on any vandalism that occurs to the new electronic pay stations. Chad will be working with police chief Schleter to piggyback on these cameras on the police department security camera project. No motion was made on this item at this time. Continue discussing and recommending action about broadcasting committee meetings. The committee discussed continued discussion on whether to broadcast committee meetings after the state restrictions from the COVID-19 pandemic is lifted. Chad and the new video producer would research the methods and devices needed to properly capture video in the council chambers, but ask that the committee decide if future broadcasting will be for all committee meetings or just special meetings. No motion was made for this on this at this time. Director's report memo included in the agenda packet and reviewed by the committee. Service anniversary is reported. James Coakley, Wolfer Retreatment Operator, completed one year of service on March 4th. Julie Geeson, facility custodian, completed two years of service on April 2nd. Paul Nelson, Parks, Labor, and More, completed five years of service on April 20th. Jane Murphy, part-time administrative assistant, completed one year on April 22nd. Chairman report, there was none. Committee members report was none were presented. Future agenda items, Riverside Park boat launch security cameras, broadcasting committee meetings. Meeting was adjourned at 545. Motion was carried by all. I would ask for the council's consideration on the review and recommending a resolution to apply for stewardship grants. Thank you. Mm, where do you get that? So that is number two under park. Yes. All right. Motion's been made by Visa, seconded by Finch. Mr. Herder. Finch? By Mr. Pinch, I'm sorry. Oh, no. It was Mr. 
Approve proposed resolution authorizing director of public service to apply for DNR outdoor rec aids for the Newton Blackmore Trail extension. <clears throat> Motion's been made and seconded. Any further discussion? Roll call. Okay, Mr. Bisa. Yes. Fishy. Yes. Zog. Yes. O'Connell. Aye. Dean. Yes. Barrington. Yes. Dorsey. Yes. Kinch. Yes. Herder. Yes. And Mr. Morick. Yes. Motion passes 10-0. And I would ask for an approval agreement with the Wolf River Art League regarding art murals on city-owned buildings. Second. Motion's been made by Besaw, seconded by Finch. Finch. To approve agreement with Wolf River Art League regarding art murals on city-owned buildings. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Bisa? Yes. Fiche? Yes. Zog? Yep. O'Connell? Aye. Dean? Yes. Barrington? Yes. Dorsey? Yes. Pinch? Yes. Herder? Yes. And Mr. Morick? Yes. Motion passes, 10-0. <clears throat> And I would look for authorization for the purchase of two electronic boat launch pay stations without the change giving option for a total project cost of $22,730 financed by the boat launch fund. So moved. Motion been made. Can I be saw seconded by Fred Zog. Any further discussion? Uh, yes. Can I just ask Chad? I can't remember. Chad, what? What was the cost of the change giving options? Would that have been about an additional $8,000 for our people at home? 7,000 and change for two of them to do it on both of them. Half okay. of that or just doing it on one, but somewhere between seven and 8,000. Okay. Just wanted to, I forgot from last week what that number was, but. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Bisa. Yes. Mr. Fichet. Yes. Mr. Zog. Yes. Mr. O'Connell. Aye. Ms. Dean. Yes. Mr. Barrington. Yes. Mr. Dorsey. Yes. Mr. Pinch. Yes. Mr. Herder. Yeah. And Mr. Morat. Yes. Motion All passes right. time zero. Thank you. I'll move on to planning commission. There was no April meeting. Um, so we'll move on to economic development committee. Mr. Morat, please. The Economic Development Committee met on Thursday, April 28th at 4.30 p.m. in the New London City Council Chambers and via Zoom. The April 9th, 2020 minutes were, re were approved. April Kapitsky presented the Connect Communities Program. This is a program the city participated in past years. Kapitsky proposes the Committee Reinstitute part re Participation. Motion made by O'Connell, second by Pinch, to approve the Connect Communities Program be a, to be a budget item for the 2021 budget. It was carried by voice votes with no votes against. A proposed contract with uh, Todd Hutchinson was discussed. A revised copy of the contract with Todd Hutchinson and Keller Williams was included in the packet for review by members. Motion to approve the revised contract was moved by Zog, second by O'Connell, which was rescinded after discussion. Motion by Dorsey and second by Pinch to refer the contract to a commercial attorney for review. The voice vote showed all in approval with no votes against. Discussion then took place with questions regarding the services and the cost of the contract. Motion by Fiche and second by Kapisky to, to continue negotiations with Hutchinson and Keller Williams to move the project forward pending attorney approval. A roll call vote was called. Voting yes were Fache, Bishop, Kapitsky, Morak, and Barrington. Voting no were Sog, Dorsey, Pinch, Thompson, and O'Connell. Not called the vote were Mayor Herder and Asman. The motion did not stand. City, the city membership with the Fox Cities Chamber was discussed as it is up for renewal. Motion by Zog and second by Dorsey to approve the expenditures renewing the membership, carried by unanimous voice vote. The 2020 goals list and the first quarter status report were reviewed. April Kapitsky gave her report on business in the city. Due to the COVID-19 
virus, 60 businesses in the cities have had to close temporarily. First business to close was announced this week. Other businesses will be opening as <coughs> orders change. Fiske asked if any monies from the facade grants could be moved to help struggling businesses out. Bishop asked how the larger businesses in the city were faring. The revitalization committee minutes were included in the packet. There were no questions or comments. The administrator's update, the owner's report was reviewed. There the, was public input received from two public attendees and the meeting adjourned at 625 p.m. You also have in your packet then uh, the report from the Wapaka County Economic Development Corporation. That's all I have for economic development. Thank you, Ms. Moran. Uh, we are going to skip to Capital Equipment and Projects Committee, Mr. Moran. Thank you, Your Honor. The Capital Equipment and Projects Committee met on Monday, April 13th at 4.30 p.m. via Zoom. Finance Director Radke reviewed the approved <laughs> items from the November 2019 and January 2020 meetings, Capital Projects and Equipment meetings. Motion was made by Zog and seconded by Steinhorst to recommend the council approval of the skid steer in the amount of $50,000 with anticipated $10,000 trade in value and a, strump, and a stump grinder in the amount of $7,500. Motion carried 7-0. Motion was made by Mayor Hinkey and seconded by Fache to recommend the council approval of the additional $500 for the bucket truck. Motion carried 7-0. Motion was made by Steinhorst and seconded by Pinch to recommend the council approval of the restoration of the old museum and library entrance doors in the amount of $5,000. Motion period 7-0. Motion was made by Zog and seconded by Barrington to recommend the council approval of the Wi-Fi bridge and DVR for the police department in the amount of $20,000. Motion period 7-0. Motion was made by Fiche and seconded by Pinch recommend the council approval replacement tables for the meeting room at the library museum in the amount of $12,000. Motion carried 7-0. Finance Director Ratke suggested that the next committee meeting be scheduled once a need arises for approval of capital equipment or capital project item. And the committee agreed. And mm -hmm. the committee adjourned at 4.49 p.m. That's all I have for capital equipment projects. Thank you, Ms. Mora. Move on to minutes and reports. You have the committee and commission reports as listed. Any comments? Move to uh, reports of officers. <clears throat> reports of officers on recent events and announcements to the public. Start off with the mayors. Uh, First thing I have is Poppy Day po Proclamation. I'll read that to you guys. Whereas America is the land of freedom, preserved and protected willingly and freely by citizen soldiers. And whereas millions who have answered the call to arms have died on the field of battle. And whereas during a time of war and through evil acts of terrorism, it has become more apparent that we need to show our gratitude to all men and women in uniform here and abroad, especially those who have paid the ultimate price so that we may remain living in a free country. And whereas the red poppy has long been designated as a symbol of sacrifice lives in all wars. And whereas the American Legion auxiliary has pledged to remind American America annually of this debt through the distribution of the memori Memorial poppy those flowers made by disabled veterans of Wisconsin. Therefore, I, Mark Herter, mayor of the city of New London, counties of Outagamie and Wapaka, Wisconsin, do hereby recognize Friday, May 22nd, 2020, as National Poppy Day. Furthermore, I ask that the citizens honor those who paid that price by remembering them on Memorial Day, Monday, May 25th, 2020. And furthermore, I ask that all citizens get their poppy of remembrance during the virus rescheduled poppy days 
distribution in New London, July 2nd through the 4th, 2020. Given under my hand and sealed 12th day of May, 2020. <clears throat> Resolution supporting World Migratory Bird Day. Whereas migratory birds are some of the most beautiful and easily observed wildlife that share our com communities, and whereas many citizens recognize and welcome migratory songbirds as symbolic hair bearings of spring, and whereas these migrant species also play an important economic role in our community, controlling insects, pests, and generating millions in recreational dollars statewide. And whereas migratory birds and their habitats are declining throughout the Americas, facing a growing number of threats on their migration routes in both their summer and winter homes. And whereas public awareness and concern are crucial components of migratory bird conservation, and whereas citizens enthusiastic about birds informed about the threats they face and empowered to help address those threats can directly contribute to maintaining health bird populations. Whereas since 1993, World Migratory Bird Day has become a primary vehicle for focusing public attention on the nearly 350 species that travel between nesting habitats in our communities and throughout North America and their wintering grounds in th South and Central America, Mexico, the Caribbean, and the South Southern US. And whereas hundreds of thousands of people will observe World Migratory Bird Day, gathering in town squares, community centers, schools, parks, natural center, nature centers, and wildlife refuge to learn about birds, take action to conserve them, and simply to have fun. And whereas the ob observance is not limited to a single day, the planners are encouraged to schedule activities on the dates best suited to present of both migrant and celebrant and whereas World Migratory Bird Day is not only a day for to foster appreciation for wild birds and celebrate and support migratory bird conservation, but also to call to action. Now, therefore, I, Mark Herter, as mayor of the city of New London, Wisconsin, do hereby proclaim Saturday, May 16th, 2020, as World Migratory Bird Day in the city of New London, and I urge all citizens to celebrate this observance and to support efforts to protect and conserve migratory birds and their habitats in our community and the world at large. Adopted this day, 12th of May, 2020. I asked for a motion in a second. Well, motion been made by Fred Zog. Second. second. By Mr. Fouché. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Approved or uh, opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> I have something I wrote. I would like to say thank you to the constituents of New London for voting in this past spring election. I would also like to recognize and give a big thank you to all the election staff and a job well done by all. I look forward to working with the city council members, citizens, and the New London city staff. Together we will move forward in a positive pace and manner, keeping our city moving forward to a greater future. With the trying times of the COVID-19, I will task the council and staff to stay focused and up-to-date on our city's goals and recovery process. Mm -hmm. Together, we will all get past these times of dismay. In closing, I would like to remind everyone, May, May is class of 2020 month. Please take a moment of your time to recognize a senior from this year's graduating class of 2020. Go Bulldogs. Thank you. And that is all I have. We'll move on to um, no city administrator report. Uh, utility manager, Mr. Thompson. Honor. I'd like to take this time to introduce my replacement. 
Jay Bessett is going to be taking over the utility upon my retirement on June 19th. Jay has been with the utility 20 plus years and uh, he's going to give the report tonight. So my job is quite easy. Thank you. Welcome Jay. Thank you, your honor. Uh, the utility has uh, well number eight back online. Uh, electric crews transferred the new service over on the sixth. Uh, new meter and CTs were installed. Uh, we met with Ben from the wastewater on possibly looking for a relocation of the transformer. It's not compliant due to a vent. Um, we also met with Emanuel School on the sixth. We're looking to move the transformer. They're going to extend a new entrance and. Um, so that transformer is going to be in the way. So they're looking at two possible locations for that. Uh, I met with Romanesco Development on the subdivision. They're going to clear the right of way for us and we're looking to begin electric installation in June. Um, the Utility Commission approved leasing of a digger truck for us. This will be a larger truck to allow us to replace uh, some of the transmission poles in our, um, in our group replacement program. Um, we have well number eight, the generator was delivered that was required by the DNR for us to, to have. So uh, we have that at the shop now and we're looking for Northland to um, develop some cables so we can hook that up to the well and run that. Uh, on the fourth, Tyler Stray started his apprenticeship contract with the utilities. He will become a journeyman in four years. So we're extremely proud of his progress. And Lee Steingraber will be leaving us. His last day of work is the 17th. Uh, if he would have worked for us until June, that he would have completed six years with us. So we're sad to see him go. And that's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Bassett. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Honor. We'll move on to Director of Public Services, Mr. Hurst. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, just quick things um, over the street side. We are currently working on our street curbside brush pickup. Um, if you're interested in finding out where we are going to be um, coming into your area, we have that all posted on the city's website, uh, newlondonwi.org. You can see um, what area we are take tackling each week and what zone we are. That is going to continue through May 15th. After that, you would have to bring the brush or your uh, compost material to the brush sites and the compost site, but we are still uh, continuing the curbside pickup. We are getting a lot of questions regarding on the rec side and the park side when we're going to be opening up. Many people are calling. Um, we're getting emails and um, Facebook messages wondering when we're going to open up parks, when we're going to open up the pool. <clears throat> we're doing the best we can trying to disseminate the or uh, figure out the information that's coming from the state. The state just recently uh, last weekend or last week put out some information for businesses, which it kind of included some of um, our services as well, like they, they put some information out how fitness and pool facilities should be opening up and, and what the expectations are and guidelines are. So we are actively looking at that information, trying to figure out what we need to do to safely open. Um, so for those people that are, are asking us, we are trying to figure out as quickly as we can what we're gonna do. And then just keep an eye on our website, keep an eye on our Facebook page. We'll, we'll broadcast that out quickly as we can. Once, once we know what our expectations are, what the guidelines are, what we need to do uh, moving forward to get the facilities open and our services open. So we are trying to figure out as quickly as we can with all that. That includes rec, faci <coughs> rec facilities and park facilities as well. And then also, if you are interested in community gardens, we do have uh, community gardens open and they are available to rent. Um, we have several open at uh, United Methodist Church and at the Trinity Church on uh, Beckard Road. So if anybody's interested in renting a plot, there is plenty of them available yet. Uh, people can start as of May 15th, starting to plant. So we do have water there and uh, the plots are available. So just call our office and uh, let us know if you're interested in that and we'll get you all signed up. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Move on to the chief of police, Mr. Schleter. Thank you, your honor. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the reopenings and stuff that we're starting to see a little bit of. Uh, each day, it seems like we get some more information out there. Uh, to keep updated and stuff for the business owners, make sure to check the Wisconsin Department of Health uh, website along with WEDC.org. Uh, they will keep that stuff up to date. Uh, we do get some of the answers and all the answers that we get to, we push, uh, push forward to the chamber and make sure April is up to date on whatever we get for information also. 
The other thing that we're trying to work on right now is with Mask Up MKE. And we got a call from them today and we believe that we're gonna be getting some masks delivered to our community here. And if we do, we will put a post out on the web, on our Facebook page, so that if a citizen needs a mask or something, they might be able to stop by the police department to get one. Uh, we're hoping to be able to get some, but nothing's set in stone yet, but as soon as we get them, we'll pass it on. We just want people to stay safe, keep your social distance, and uh, hopefully get this country healthy here soon. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. And we'll move on to the fire chief, Mr. Wilford. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, first of all, I got a couple. I have some uh, service anniversaries I'd like to announce. Eric Sager, uh, this is for the fire department. Eric Sager, 11 years. Zach Dunbar, 11 years. Aaron Ott, six years. Andy Burns, six years. Jason Fleece, four years. And Ren Scott, two years. And just a reminder, um, if anyone plans on burning in the city, that there is an ordinance and uh, get the details on the ordinance uh, from the city website. And that's all I have tonight. Thank you, Mr. Wolfer. And with that, we um, look for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion. I don't know when I should have brought it up, but uh, hey, it was, you know, it's okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Go on. Um, the land across the river was for sale, and Scott Hutchinson. Uh, I think was uh, trying to get a listing, and a no, it was a no vote. Uh, yep. Tie, so the tie prevailed. So I was one of the voted no, and I want to know, did I have to change it at that meeting, or uh, can I change it at the next meeting, or uh, you you sh you had to change it at that meeting. You could not change it here. You can bring it back up. No. 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 No vote, Earl? Yeah, I'll double check, but I think you can move. Um, I'll make a motion to reconsider. Uh, I'll, I'll, let, I'll, I'll double check. I'll let you know. Okay. Is there a chance to bring it back anyway? That's know. what he's going to double check for you. So motion. I thought it was kind of stop building a library over there, and it was really stop. I wanted to keep it going to sell it. We want to sell that land. Yep. And okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll let you know. Sir? There, I, I believe when there's a tie, the only one that can change, if you bring the vote back, it takes majority. Without a majority, I don't think you can do it, but Earl will find that. Yeah. I don't think you can. Motion's been made to adjourn by Mr. Zog, seconded by Me, Dean. Dean. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Meeting adjourned. Thank you.